Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. You can see here valve body removed from Mercedes-Benz automatic transmission 722.6. I'm replacing on it electrical conductor plate. I'm waiting for the part so I decided go ahead and check the solenoids for correct electrical function. And what you see here is one of the three shift solenoids which are part of this automatic transmission and the number is A, Mercedes-Benz number, it's A140277 These three solenoids are interchangeable so you can switch them around and let's see how they can be tested for and I can start with the easiest measurement, which will be checking the resistance. I have my meter here ready, right, in the correct setting. And I will be touching those contacts here. And that will give me measurement of resistance over the solenoid. So, this one has 4.6 ohms which is uh, within the specs because they need to be between 2.5 and 6.5 ohms here is the second one so let's see what this one will show here we go after touching the contacts 4.7 or 6 so definitely again within the specs and here is the third one hopefully you can see those contacts how I'm touching them right and again let's see what the meter will tell us this one is 4.6 ohms so again even the third one passed this test now these solenoids are on off solenoids and they are closed when the electricity is not applied. When I will apply 12 volts, they should produce that audible click and they should open. I have here ready 12 volts from the small battery. So let's see if this solenoid is in the good working order. And as you could hear, the electric function, it's perfect. The solenoid very clearly, audibly opens and closes. I can feel it, it's vibrating, so it definitely works correctly. Here is another one, so let's listen if they will sound exactly the same. Perfectly works. Here is last one out of those three. Yep, they sound exactly the same. Now, as I said, so far we only tested electrical part of the solenoid. We still don't know if the solenoid holds the pressure and when it's cycling, when we hear the clicking, if is correctly releasing the pressure. To correctly test it that, I hook this solenoid to my improvised source of the pressured air. I'm watching the gauge, I have 20 psi in this and let's see what will happen when we will cycle the solenoid using that supplied electricity. All right, let's see what will happen. Perfect. So I could see that it was holding the pressure. When it opened, the air flew out. On the gauge, I could see decrease in the pressure. But when I stopped cycling it, the solenoid was actually holding the pressure. So 
I pumped it right now up to 25. Let's see how it will be acting again. And let's do just a single cycling. Okay, you heard it. The pressure in the hose is coming down. Okay. Back to 20. I'm going slightly below 20. And now I'm like 15, but it's perfectly holding. So this solenoid really, really works correctly. So my friend, I hope you enjoy this little solenoid testing video. And please make sure you are subscribed and you are watching this channel because I have way more videos about the Mercedes bands coming your way soon. Thanks for watching today and have a wonderful day.